Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see how to find out the volume of frustum of a cone. Frustum of a cone is given by the formula. Let's write down the formula. Volume equal to 1 by 3 pi into h, that's height of the frustum, multiply with r1 square plus r2 square which are radius of the lower and upper ends plus r1 r2 so this is the volume of the thrust of the cone which we are going to derive now first of all let's understand what's the meaning of a frustum a frustum is is a part of the cone when a cone is divided by a horizontal plane suppose let us say that we have a b c cone we have this cone and we have divided it by a horizontal plane into two parts now we see that there is a small cone a b dash c dash and then we have the frustum of the cone so we know that volume of a b c is nothing but equal to volume of small cone plus volume of frustum of cone. So I can directly go ahead and say volume of frustum of the cone is nothing but volume of the big cone minus volume of the small cone. So let's go ahead and write it down. We'll say volume equal to volume of cone ABC minus volume of cone a b dash c dash let's write down what is the formula we know that for the big cone a b c we have radius is r2 and the height is h2 we know that we can say h2 equal to i'll write down here h2 equal to h plus h1 so we have 1 by 3 pi r2 square into h2 minus 1 by 3 pi radius for the small cone is r1 so i can say r1 square into h1 which is equal to 1 by 3 into i can take pi common i can write down pi by 3 into r2 square h2 minus r1 square h1 now let's compare this with respect to what we need. What we need is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. That means I have to convert h1 and h2 in terms of h and r1 r2 so that I can get the formula. So for that what we will do, we have to now find out a relationship between h1, h2 and h, r1, r2 and r. For that will go back to the figure and we will see that there are three similar triangles suppose I take AOC triangle that is similar to A O dash C dash triangle that is also similar to C dash X C triangle because all these triangles are having one angle same and they all having 90 degrees that means A A similarity criteria so we can go back and write down triangle AOC dash is similar to triangle AOC and also triangle AOC is similar to triangle C dash XC. Now since we know these triangles are similar to each other, we can write down the corresponding sides. So if I take AOC dash, I have H1 by R1 which is equal to from AOC that is H2 by R2, H1 by R1 is equal to H2 by R2 which is equal to C dash XC, height is nothing but H divided by xc is r2 minus r1 
we have to clearly understand how this came because we have similar triangles so we know that h1 by r1 equal to h2 by r2 is equal to h by r2 minus r1 where h is nothing but difference of h2 and h1 h is equal to h2 minus h1 so now once we are done with that we will come back and we'll leverage whatever the condition we just got now the first condition we'll substitute here we'll write down pi by 3 into r2 square into h2 r2 square i will leave as it is h2 i can write it as h into r2 by r2 minus r1 h r2 divided by r2 minus r1 minus of again r1 square i leave as it is h1 can be written as h into r1 by r2 minus r1 h into r1 divided by r2 minus r1 now if we simplify this we will have pi by 3 into i can take h common pi h by 3 into in the numerator i will have r2 cube minus r1 cube divided by r2 minus r1 we can see that numerator is a cube minus b cube and the denominator is a minus b a cube minus b cube divided by a minus b is a square plus a b plus b square therefore that is equal to pi h by 3 into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 so that is the volume of first term of a cone so let me summarize that we have to find out the volume of first term of a cone <laughs> the first term of a cone volume is nothing but equal to volume of the original cone minus volume of the small cone we know that if r1 r2 are the radiuses radii of the two cones with the heights as h1 and h2 then we know that volume of difference of volume of the cones is 1 by 3 pi r2 square h2 minus 1 by 3 pi r1 square h1 now we need h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 but here we are having h2 and h1 so with respect to the first term of the cone we are interested only with the h so i have to convert h2 and h1 in terms of h and r1 r2 for that we have leveraged the similar triangles we have three similar triangles one is aoc another is ao dash c dash and another is c dash xc leveraging these three similar triangles we are able to understand that corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion so h1 by h2 equal to r1 by r2 and h1 by h equal to r1 by r2 minus r1 which can be rephrased as h1 by r1 equal to h2 by r2 equal to h2 by r2 minus r1 now once we convert h2 and h1 in terms of h we simplify we see that numerator is in the form of a cube minus b cube and denominator is a minus b a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square so that's how we can derive the value of the first term of the cone in the next session we will see how to find out the total curved surface area of first term of a cone so that we can also find out the total surface area please do let me know your feedback thanks for your time and support i'll catch you once again till then keep smiling and sharing bye for now